The list of product shortages is still growing and haunting us as we head into the winter. Many of us are getting increasingly apprehensive as we see grocery store shelves getting barer and barer with each passing month. With the cold season right at the corner, a larger number of families have begun stockpiling food staples and other essential items, and industry executives are alerting that shortages are about to become even more widespread. That means our chance to get the food staples we want and need before they vanish from supermarkets may be almost up. That's why today we've compiled some indispensable products that will suffer from availability issues over the coming weeks, so you can get ahead of the stockouts and replenish your pantry while you still can. Before checking this list, please give us your support with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, here are 15 items that'll be hard to find in grocery stores this winter. 1. Potato Chips From now on, potato chips and other fried snacks will become more difficult to find at our local supermarkets due to an ongoing potato shortage caused by extreme weather and extensive crop losses earlier this year. Another factor that may contribute to stockouts this winter is a worsening shortage of vegetable oil, often used to create fried snacks. Suppliers worldwide are rationing their inventory of vegetable oils, which is leading many food manufacturers to reduce their range of fried snacks and raise prices on high-selling items. 2. Popcorn Another beloved snack that will be in short supply this winter is popcorn. According to data compiled by the Wall Street Journal, the upcoming popcorn shortage is linked to supply chain issues and a 17% decline in corn production this year. The unprecedented drought we faced this summer prompted farmers to abandon corn crops in favor of more profitable crops. But everything from the bags to the oil used to pop the corn has been in short supply this year. And now our favorite movie snack has become the latest victim of disruptions in the food supply chain. 3. Hamburger Patties At the beginning of the pandemic, Costco, Wegmans, and Kroger limited purchases of ground beef. Hundreds of Wendy's and McDonald's outlets ran out of hamburgers. Now, a similar scenario is starting to unfold. According to Food Business News, ground beef, the main ingredient of hamburger patties, is facing a unique set of supply chain challenges. Meat plants are experiencing shortages of packaging materials that are impacting the distribution of meats across the food system. But ground beef in particular will likely see the biggest supply squeeze because work in processed beef plants is more labor intensive and the sector is going through a severe labor shortage right now. Consequently, some food producers are opting to sell plain ground beef instead of reprocessing it and repackaging it to make hamburger patties. In that way, they can save on costs and prevent ground beef shortages from getting worse than they already are. 4. Amoxicillin America is facing a shortage of key medications used to treat common illnesses as virus season comes back in full force. That's bad news for those who were hoping to pick up antibiotics at their grocery store pharmacy. Officials have declared a shortage of first-line antibiotics such as augmentin and amoxicillin, which are used to treat bacterial infections. At least three pharmaceutical companies say the shortage is expected to intensify as colder weather arrives. So if you're running short on this popular medication, hurry up and stock up on it before it disappears from the shelves. 5. Chicken Wings A poultry shortage caused by the most devastating bird flu epidemic on record resulted in the loss of over 40 million birds so far this year. Now, we're waiting to see its impact sweep through supply chains. A couple of months ago, famous restaurants such as KSC and Buffalo Wild Wings ran out of chicken wings. Now, retailers started to feel the squeeze of the chicken shortages too. 
chicken wings prices are now almost 50% higher than a year ago, and that's if you're lucky enough to find them at the stores. Given that even major restaurant chains are now competing over the remaining supply of chicken wings, we will likely struggle to get our hands on this product during the coming winter. 6. Peaches Even in the country's most peach-famous state, Georgia, the supply of this fuzzy fruit has been significantly disrupted by harsh climate conditions. New reports reveal that many farmers decided to abandon peach crops and replace them with blueberry crops due to unseasonably warm temperatures. Every time I talk about what I do, I think I'm more and more crazy, Georgia peach farmer Lawton Pearson says. We lose peaches pretty much every year. Just a few months ago, an assortment of stone fruit crops have been utterly decimated in the region. There was absolutely nothing you could do about it, Pearson adds. Consumers are about to feel the impact of these losses at the stores in the months ahead. 7. Fish sticks Another protein in short supply in the United States is fish sticks. USA Today reported that Canada, the main exporter of fish sticks to the US, has held over 25 million pounds of the product in the third quarter, citing transportation issues. But some experts believe that Canada is decreasing its exports to keep supplies for its citizens in the weeks and months ahead. With fish production declining 16% in the neighbor country this year, Canadian fish exports may be even harder to come by in 2023. 8. Imported Foods A new article by the New York Times revealed that all sorts of imported foods, including cheeses, champagne, wine, boba teas, chocolate, chili-based sauces, other gourmet products produced in foreign countries and exported to the U.S., are likely to vanish from grocery stores this winter due to availability problems, supply chain issues, and higher costs to transport goods overseas. 9. Pickles Now, this is a shortage that's been happening periodically since the onset of the health crisis. In 2020, pickles were in short supply, both on grocery store shelves and at some fast food restaurants like Burger King, because of rising demand and decreased manufacturing. Now, it is happening again, but because of a shortage of glass jars. Household pickle brands like Clausen recently noted that the jar squeeze was keeping pickle supplies from hitting the stores. Mason jars and lids are actually one of the first products to disappear when consumers notice worsening food shortages. Industry executives say that a huge increase in the number of people taking up home canning and preserving utensils is contributing to the pickle shortages we might see at the stores. 10. Frozen Fruit From crop failures to rising diesel prices for farming, certain fruits are in scarce supply. Frozen berries, pineapple, mango, many others are disappearing from supermarkets and supplies won't likely be replenished until mid-summer if nothing extreme happens to winter crops in the coming months. So, if you aren't able to find fresh fruits in your region, can't live without frozen fruit mixes and blends, you should probably shop to restock your freezer with these goods over the next few weeks. 11. Cream Cheese In 2021, a cyber attack against the largest cheese supplier in the U.S. sparked a cream cheese shortage just ahead of Thanksgiving. Now, this shortage is being caused by dwindling dairy supplies all across the nation. With the U.S. cow herd declining precipitously this year, milk and dairy production have been severely compromised. From this point on, American shoppers should brace for stockouts of all dairy products and significantly higher prices too. 12. Vegan Foods Even if you don't eat meat or dairy, you won't be spared from facing food shortages either. In a recent interview, Rick Williams, supply chain of JPG Resources, exposed that plant-based proteins such as tofu and soy-based cheeses won't be hitting the stores at the usual volume this winter. 
Although demand for plant-based products saw a huge rise in the past two quarters as animal meat processors faced a myriad of manufacturing issues, the vegan industry wasn't able to meet that demand surge because of droughts and a weaker than expected harvest of soy. 13. Oat Milk U.S. cereal companies and oat milk makers will likely have to wait another year before they see relief from high prices and shortages. Crippling droughts in the U.S. have cut oat production by 40%, and exports from America's main supplier, Canada, are expected to drop by 50% compared to last year, falling to their lowest level since 2010. 14. Cookware some of the tools that are flying off the shelves right now are cookware and food prep utensils as shoppers get ready to cook at home this winter. According to household brand Large Cast Iron, demand for small appliances like bread makers and electric skillets currently at levels last seen during March 2020 when lockdowns kept many of us from eating out. Now, holiday sales and discounting events are likely to tighten the supply of cookware and other food tools even more as the cold season begins. 15. Tylenol Grocery store pharmacies are also grappling with a Tylenol shortage, and the situation is expected to aggravate as temperatures go down. In my 25 years of being a pediatrician, I've never seen anything like this, stresses pediatric infectious disease specialist Dr. Stacey Marushek of Hennepin Healthcare in Minnesota. The medication's short supply stems from a recent spike in pediatric sickness as seasonal bugs come back with a bang after being suppressed during COVID-related lockdowns, experts say. And that's particularly worrying to parents. Given that Tylenol is one of the most popular pain relievers for kids, often used to treat head and toothaches and fever. In times when demand for grocery items far outpaces the available supply, there is little that can be done to prevent these shortages from getting worse. When it comes to product stockouts and rising prices at grocery stores, many factors are at stake, such as scarcity of packaging, freight disruptions, and labor shortages at production plants. The Ukraine crisis is also adding a lot of stress on the grocery supply line in the U.S., and tight supplies of essential grains are resulting in declining supplies of a wide range of products. Prices of commodities like wheat and corn are still nearing or at record highs. For that reason, many food distributors are trying to hold on to their inventories for as long as they can and also imposing new purchasing limits for food retailers. Meanwhile, farmers have experienced one of the toughest plant and harvest seasons in history. This year, the U.S. faced extensive crop losses of different kinds of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains. Meat, poultry, fish, even plant-based proteins are getting harder to come by as well. And shoppers are literally seeing their pool of options getting steadily smaller. In the face of all that, it's no wonder why so many consumers anticipate that the rise in grocery food items will continue this winter. So panic buying has already begun in many cities. This phenomenon will, of course, add to the food shortage list for the coming months. And just like it happened before, prices are likely to jump even higher. According to Morning Consult, grocery items are up by 51% this holiday season compared to 43% in the last quarter of 2021. On top of that, gasoline prices have started to surge again, leaving low- and middle-income families with even tighter food budgets. Experts believe that the rise in the price of essential grocery items will push people to stock up on shelf-stable supplies, which will lengthen the list of product stockouts for 2023. Even big grocery store chains are struggling to restock their inventories right now. At the start of the year, executives from Walmart, Food Lion, and Kroger expressed concerns that the stores were experiencing food supply issues. Empty grocery shelves continue to be their most significant concern as the new year approaches. 
That's why it's so important to keep informed the stay ahead of these grocery inventory holes before they hit critical levels. This is going to be a challenging winter for all of us. So make preparations before it begins. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to turn on the bell to always get our latest notifications.